Today we'll discuss uh, the software, civil engineer software Statpo, the design of industrial steel warehouse. So we'll go to the new project, select this space and click on the next. In my first video, you can see in the playlist in Statpro, industrial steel warehouse has been designed and the loads assigned properly. Now this is the second video for enhancing the skill in this particular software. So first of all, I will create a node. Now see, I have a created a node here. Now see, you have created a node at x equal to zero, y equal to zero, and z equal to zero. So now what will we do? Now to select this, we have to use a node cursor here. Select this particular node. Now we will copy, or you can say this node paste node to at a distance of 30 meter now these two nodes are at a distance of 30 meter now we will select a beam cursor now we will join these two nodes since we have joined these two nodes now we will select the beam cursor again select this particular beam and I will go to the tools transitional repeat here now the global direction I have to move this beam is Y number of steps will be 1 and the default spacing between the beams is 6 meter now I will select the link step the beam in nodes will be linked with each other as you can see now we have to delete this bottom now I will select this beam and I have to create a node at this beam at midpoint so I will go to the insert node at midpoint click OK now we will delete this beam now we have delete this beam now we have to move, move this particular node so we will again select node cursor since we have select this node cursor now we will go to the move option and in y I will put a value of 1.5 now I will go to the move option in y I will select 1.5 click ok select yes now this is shifted a distance of 1.5 meter from this axis now again we will go to the beam cursor see here now we have to insert a node click on the insert node at a distance of 6 meter insert node at new point click ok now you see this is at a distance of display node 6 meter now again we have to put a node here at a distance of 6 meter so you can see we have put node now we have to mirror this structure for mirroring this structure now remove the displaying nodes dimensions select this whole structure now go to the geometry click the mirror tool option now select this node along the yz direction yz direction click ok you see the mirror copy has been done now what we gonna do is now we'll go to the assign the support go to the journal click here support we will select the pin type of support click on add now go to the view from plus z and assign to selected nodes you see the support has been applied now go to the journal now go to the journal the property we will assign define tapered eye section we'll select 0.35 
this will be 0 0.008 this will be 0 0.70 and this will be 0 0.25 and this will be you can take as 0 0.10 these are the properties and material should be steel now click on these two values will be 0 now this value I will take as 0 0.7 and this value 0 0.006 and this value I will take as 0 0.3 and this value again 0 0.25 and this 0 0.008 and these two values will be 0 so 0 0.7 0 0.006 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.008, 0, 0. Now 0 0.3 again, 0 0.006, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.008. The same values I am defining here. Now click on add. Now for the fourth. This I am taking as 5, 5, the same values. Now we have to assign these type of values to this structure. For this, we will go to the structures and labels and go to the structure full section. Click on OK. but you can see this section only after assigning these values so I will assign this taper value this one go to the view from plus jet select these two main columns assign to selected beam you see I'm assigning and you will see the full section and taper 2 value for these two sections and taper 3 for this section and taper 4 for this particular section now see now I have to create 7 bay for my industrial buildings similar like this so I will select all these structures whole structure and go to the transitional feet select the z direction see this is the z directions in this direction number of steps will be 7 default spacing will be 6 and there is no link step so click on ok you see my structures have now 7 base 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 between these two so we, I have this initially and 7 I have created with the transitional repeat tool now I will create a beam here now I have to insert node select the beam cancer again go to the insert node create n equal to 4 endpoints if I go here 4 nodes you can see or I'll go to the list uh, labels node points will show the nodes points now what I have to do I have to select all these four nodes and go to the transitional repeat again global direction will be Y number of steps will be 1 and default step spacing like something 8 above than this so it was 6 I am putting the value 8 and length step click OK you see 
more than this height now I will select this I have to create a node here so I'll go to the geometry intersect select on intersect what a value of one you see now I can delete these beams now I will also to delete these bottom beams too now I have to assign the supports to these column also the support view from plus Z assign support has been assigned now for this column I have to assign the property so I will go to the property define taper I section 0 0.30 0 0.006 0 0.30 0 0.20 and 0.008 and these two values will be again 0 now I will assign these values to these four columns go to the front view select these four columns and assign to selected beams now the property has been assigned now again I will go to the symbols and tables structures full section click OK you see this and this column orientation are different you can click by here labels beam orientation click ok see some orientations has been different this going in their directions see this this so for these I have to change the beam or beam orientation for these columns so I have to create a squishions beam for this I have to create beta angle go to the property beta angle create beta angle select the 90 degree click ok highlight this beta 90 degree and go to the front view view from plus z select these four columns assign to selected view you see column are oriented properly now again go to the symbols and labels go to the full section and you see the same orientation has been given to these four columns also I have to assign this property to this rafter so I will go to the property again general define The point three five again zero according to your design you can you can put your your values zero point one five and zero point zero zero eight click on an OK now select this
uh, assigned to selected beam see the property has been assigned now now what we have to do we have to select these four columns and I have to create a midpoint here in order to copy these four columns to here using the mirror command I will go to the midpoint now select these four columns select these four columns go to the mirror command select the node on plane and the mirror plane will be x y and click on ok see the same has been copied there now what we have to do we have to delete this we have delete this beam now these three nodes we have to copy by going to the view from plus z using the node cursor we have to select this now go to the top view uh, symmetric view you see all these nodes along the chosen direction has been selected now go to the geometry option geometry option go to the connect beam along which direction that is there along the z axis click ok you see these three axes has been made along the z directions now i have to assign properties to this so i will go to the define taper dissection 0.10 0 0.0 0.04 0 0.1 0 0.075 and this I will select as 0.005 now to assign this I will select this property go to the geometry by missing attribute by missing property assigned to select beam see the property has been aligned now again go to the system and labels go to the structure full section see all the properties has been applied to it now Now what we will do, we have to release moment at this because there is no moment. So to release moment, I will select this beam, double click on it, click change release at start. This should be star release type will be partial moment release. MPZ value will be 0.99 and click add <coughs> now again click this change release at int partial moment release mpz value will be 0 0.99 click add and then close now to assign these two properties First we have to select this and this property then go to the select option select this by specification go to the property name select the tapered section this and assign to selected beam you see and for the same select go to the geometry by specification property name circles has been drawn to release the moment
start mp release moment and in moment has been given to the selected particular beam now for the gable columns back and front we have to release moment also now we'll select this double click on it change release at we have to provide this moment for these values at end so partial moment release mp this value i am providing 95 click on add then close now you see i have to select this and to assign now the rest of the columns press the control button now for the bracings I have to create the bracings this cross bracing we have to provide alternatively now I will rotate it right Uh, bracing is also provided now for the upper we have to provide the bracings also now this view I will go to the new view and this I will select this and create a node at a distance of 1.8 meter select this insert node at a distance of 1.8 meter see if you want to check the dimensions now I have to create the bracings now I have to create the bracings so Alternatively, we have to provide this. Now the bracing concept has been described. Now we have to assign the properties to it. Go to the general property section database. In Dutch, we can select solid round or in for this select the solid round. Add twenty two.
RD17 RD17 now how to assign it go to the geometry and by missing sorry select by missing attribute by missing property you see there is one left select missing attribute missing property cross check ok assign now we go to the structure this is assigned now gables take only tension so go to the specifications being tension add select tension, tension select by specification by property name rd17 close assign to selected being tension has been provided now the assigning criteria has been completed now we will go to the loadings this is load and definition load case details under the loading type none we will select dead load live load wind load wind load left to right and wind load right to left now under the dead load what you have to do now go to the dead load self weight of the structure direction will be y factor will be minus 1 self weight will be assigned to you to the whole structure now go to the top view v from plus y select these beams select these beams and click here new view ok now view from plus z we have to select this now in dead load go to the member load w1 minus 1.5 I'm providing in the local G Y directions G Y direction click OK now go to the full structure again go to the top view now select these two these two beams new view ok go to the view from plus jet now go to the dead load again click on add member load minus 
and the direction will be GY click OK you see this load is half of this this is applicable to the gable columns so this load this particular load 1.5 is half of 0 0.2 0.75 if you multiply this by 2 this will become 1.5 so you have the load of the cable columns now, to assign this I have to select this structure you see the rafter assigned to the selected beams now under the live load go to the member load here become one point the half of three point seven five will come out to be one point eight seven five the same beams now you see dead load and win load has been applied now we will go win load win load left to right click on and go to the member load w1 i'm taking Equate value minus 6 you can calculate the value and apply the loads as per your calculations yes you want to know yes I want to teach you how to apply the loads in this particular case this I am taking 6 and the direction is GX This I'm selecting as GX. Now the 4 in local Y and now the 3 local Y. Now the 2 in GX. Now 6 was V2. Now we will. the load of mean columns now we will go to win load left to right member load minus 6 this will be GX four will be local Y and three will also be local Y and two will be GX minus two will be GX Again here minus three will be GX two will be local Y and one point five will also be local Y. minus 1 will be GX here we see 
this is gx this should be local y this should be local y this is gx then again it should be gx it should be local y this also should be local y and this again will be gx gx y local y local y gx gx local y local y gx so now how we have to assign go to the top view now we are going to the top view select this go to the new view view from plus jet select this this property assign to selected beams see this property has been applied and the same now the second property I'm going to assign this will be to this assign to selected beams now this property I'm gonna assign to this now this property I'm gonna assign to this So this property has been applied to this now left to right I will come this applies to this from this was from left to right and this is from right to left now this properties has been applied again go to the top view now select these two beams go to the new view click ok now again left to right we are going go to the view plus widget you will select this apply to this columns and this property to this now this property to this and this property to this now from right to left this we will select as this the whole property has been now I have to assign for this gable columns the loads again I will go to the win left to light click on it go to the member load click on 3 GZ then again minus 3 GZ 1.5 see here for right to left go to the member load 3 minus 3 
minus 1.5 see the loads has been applied now now we have to assign just these loads now we have to assign this now I will assign this to these four columns this is applied outwardly in the z directions now this is second force this I will apply to these four columns now the third load third load I will apply to these two columns now the fourth one now from this this four load from left to right now right to left this load will be applied to this now this will be Now this is applied to this and this. Now this will be to this. Now I will go to the root case detail click and define combinations here load factor I will take 1.5 dead load plus live load click on add then dead load plus Wind load left to right factor of safety again will be 1.5 now dead load plus wind load right to left the whole load has been applied Now we have to go to the analysis and print. Click add and close. Now you can well analyze these structures. Now we have to go to the design process. Now we will go to the design. We will select the AIC ASD. Um, we can directly go to the define parameters. 
and we will select FILD and UNT one point one UNB two point double the times and UNT two point three four and UNB also two point three four Now FYLD we will assign by property name select by specification by property name Select all, accept the bracing. Now this we will assign select by <coughs> specification property name. Just to add it on T. Now unit 1.1, UNT 1.1. Go to the top view. Go to the top view. Now select all these columns. Go to the new view, click OK. Now select all this, assign UNT 1.1. You have to assign UNB also. Here is UNB. Now you have to select all these columns and you have to assign UNT Now you have to go to the commands Check code Check code is assigned to for all the members Check code is assigned to view And take off is also assigned to view Now we have to go to the analyze run analysis. You can see there are many warnings. We have to remove this, but first we will go to the post processing node and we will go to the displacement 
and the reactions here some green lap and go to the unity check see unity checks for the these beams is more than the one and please ensure that the allowable, uh, allowable ratio is 1 so actual ratio should equal to 1 or less than 1 so you see with these members the allowable ratio so we have to decrease the or increase we have to decrease or increase the size uh, uh, the property of the beam for this the red member showing so when it will become less than one it will also show green so those members who are less than one they are good so we have to change the size of this so you see I have changed from RD20 to RD17 to RD5 so you have to make sure each of the member you have to actual ratio should be equal to 1 or less than 1 then it will show the difference you can do it by going to the journal and change the RD value to RD10 I will go to the analyze or simply go you can go to the now post processing So this is the process you have to do, the graphs, the forces, see the deflection is going on, so we have to change the direction along the tapered sections, until and unless you will make your members these member less than one it will show the deflection like that so each and mem each of the member should pass should pass these criteria actual ratio should be less than one you see actual ratio is showing 12.6 and level ratio is one so we'll go to the modeling journal select RD somewhat around and see what happens now if we are increasing the size increasing the dia the warnings is the other matter The immunity checks now somewhat some cross beams are okay so this is the process we design the we design the industrial steel warehouse in strat pro VHI. So if you like the video, do share with your friends and subscribe my channel and please press, um, press the bell icon to receive more notifications on my channel and share with your friends who are in learning of these softwares for free. Thank you very much and Jai Hind.